Hello and welcome to this Thurgood Associates video on level of detail calculations in Tableau 9. My name is Madeline Malmgren and I'm a business intelligence and analytics consultant with Thurgood Associates. Thurgood is a strategic alliance partner with Tableau. Before looking at some demonstrations, let's go through a quick overview of the new level of detail calculations. Curly brackets are used to change the context of the calculation. For example, curly brackets around the sum of sales removes any dimensions from the context of the calculation. So in this case, the sum of sales with curly brackets would be equal to the total sales in the data source, irrespective of the context. We can control the level of detail further by writing include or exclude inside the curly brackets before our calculation. This adds or removes extra dimensions from the context of the calculation, even if they are not used in the visualization. This calculation allows you to filter and interact with the calculation the same way you normally would. For example, including order ID when calculating your average sales will give you the average order value within the context of the visualization, for example, by category. Lastly, if we write fixed in the curly brackets before the calculation, we set the specific level of detail. This calculation will never be affected by the dimensions and filters in our visualization. For example, the sum of sales with a fixed region and year will always calculate the total regional sales for each year, irrespective of the visualization context. Those of you who are familiar with Tableau 8 may be wondering how this differs from table calculations. So let's take a look at an example of calculating percentage of regional sales without level of detail. Here, we drag on region and country to the rows and sum of sales to the columns. To calculate the percentage of total, we add a quick table calculation. But we are now seeing the country-wise percentage of total sales compared to all countries. Instead, we compute using pane down to calculate the regional sales. So now we can see that Italy is 49% of the southern sales and the UK is 85% of the northern sales. So let's save this calculation as percentage of total sales. But what if we want to change the context? So let's add in category instead of our region. We are now no longer seeing region in any way as part of this calculation. We are seeing the country percentage of total category sales rather than total regional sales. So we can't save the calculation we just created. So now let's create the same calculation using level of detail. So we'll add region and category to the rows as before and sum of sales to the columns. I'm now going to use one of the new features in Tableau 9, which is editing the calculation within the mark. By adding curly brackets, I remove all context from the calculation. So now we are looking at the total sum of sales in the data source, irrespective of the country and region that we are looking at in the visualization. I can now edit this calculation further to add in fixed region. So this is going to calculate the total sales by region rather than total of the data source. So now we can see that the total sales in our central region are about 1.72 million and in the north are about 626,000. I can save this calculation as our total regional sales. I can now create a secondary calculation on top of this calculation I've just saved. So I want to calculate the sales without any level of detail, divided by the total regional sales. So this is going to calculate the country sales as a percentage of the regional sales. I'm going to format this as a percentage. And now, as before, we can see that Italy is 49% of the southern sales and the United Kingdom about 85% of the northern sales. As before, if we change the context, 
also look at category rather than region. This time we are still seeing the percentage of regional sales, but this time split by category and country rather than region. So we can reuse that calculation even without having region as part of our context. So in conclusion, the new level of detail calculations reduce the need for complex table calculations. They give you more control over how the calculations are applied and the level of detail calculations can be saved and shared with your colleagues. There are lots of use cases for these calculations which we are now able to share and reuse. So regional and national averages like we looked at in this video, per member per month calculations, and average order values amongst many more. Thank you for watching this Thurgood Associates video. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact me at the address below.